what if light could change the way we live? We use light to carry data because it's much faster, the power consumption is lower, and we can aggregate data and get much higher data rates than with conventional techniques. So what silicon photonics can do is develop technologies to enable you to transmit that data very quickly, but also do it at low cost. Silicon is particularly good material because it's cheap. There are billions of pounds already invested in manufacturing, and we can also integrate photonics with electronics. Nanofabrication is fabrication on a nanoscale, making very small photonics devices which are light, which consume less power, which are faster than standard devices. And we're doing that by using clean room tools and of course expertise in developing fabrication techniques. We have one of the best academic clean rooms in Europe, running from developing chips right through to uh, producing optical fibers. The main advantage of this technology is that we can fabricate circuits on a very large wafers and we can get hundreds or thousands of chips in a very short time. Silicon photonic chips can be very complex. The cross-section of these tiny waveguides are a thousand times less than the cross-section of human hair. So we start with a blank silicon wafer, coat it with a photosensitive material. We can then expose a pattern onto the surface of the wafer. We then want to etch it so that we transfer the pattern into the silicon itself. Once we've completed the fabrication of our devices, we've got a, a wafer that's full of lots of separate chips, all with their own intricate circuits on them. We take the chips to the laboratory where we do proper functional testing now to see if these chips do what we've designed them to do and whether we've broken new ground. We see now our chips that are developed in Southampton being applied in data centers, in autonomous cars, in point of care diagnostics, in environmental sensing. The thing I enjoy most about research is seeing it make a difference in the real world, seeing it being used. It's now starting to impact a whole raft of uh, new application areas. Things like 3D imaging via LiDAR, artificial intelligence, a whole range of sensors for mass market high volume applications for a rapidly changing world. Light is already changing the way we live. We'll see more of photonics is electronics of 21st century.